I'm not gonna lie, it took a lot to get this video going. Maybe took too big of a break. Hey guys, it's me, Shinobi Nando. Welcome back to the channel. And this is another one of our rambling vlog update things that I'm supposed to do every three to six months. Although the gap between them does seem to be getting bigger and bigger. I do have some explanations as to why and why last year was such a weird year content wise as as normal with january it kind of sort of also the channel's anniversary i say kind of because technically my first video was back in december but also the channel wasn't really mine until september for the new people i'll give a tldr uh we, we, i used to do upload videos for game the uk retailer on facebook I then decided, hey, why don't I do a YouTube channel because then we'll have a wider range of appeal. Plus, I always wanted to get into YouTube and this was kind of an excuse. My regional manager gave me the go ahead. I then started filming unboxings and game as long as I had. That's why I used to have like posters and everything in the background that said pre-order. I didn't have to because I wasn't officially working for game doing these videos because then they'd have to pay me. Long story short, a different regional manager found out about this and they decided to fire me and shut me down. Turns out you can't fire someone for having a YouTube channel. Surprise, surprise. And well, basically that meant that I not only got my job back, but the channel officially fully became mine. I mean, luckily most of the time it was mine anyways, like 99.999, but I always felt like there was a nagging like, hey, why don't you do this? Hey, why don't you have that? Why don't you make this kind of video could have been brought up in the future anyways. So maybe it was a blessing in disguise. So that's my very quick origin story as to why this year has been really weird. Or should I say last year, it is January at the time of recording. Well, some of my priorities shifted and I got older. I've been doing this channel now for six years and the fact that I kept it going for six years is a testament alone because one of my biggest hurdles that I want to discuss on this, those of you who don't know if you've never seen me mention it in passing in an unboxing, I have been diagnosed with ADHD since I was since I could remember. I'm very fortunate that I'm one of the people that I know because many people that I know in my life that do have ADHD as well either meeting through support networks or just happenstance tend to get diagnosed as an adult and yeah I wouldn't want to have to go through that on the other hand it doesn't mean that I'm completely fine or immune to the problems that adults have with ADHD there's a lot of issues uh, I encourage you if you're curious if you've been wondering yourself if you need to get diagnosed look some of the things up there's some excellent ADHD creators on this app TikTok and uh, Instagram. So what are the issues that we have with content creation and ADHD? Well, the biggest one for me is executive dysfunction or executive function. I can't even remember what that's called. Give me a second. Executive dysfunction. I was right the first time. This is where normally people with ADHD get classified as lazy, where even if we want to do something or need to do something in particular, we have an, a disconnect where our brain basically doesn't let us is the best way I can describe it. Now, you might be thinking, yeah, that's just laziness. You just don't want to do it or you can't be asked doing it or however you want to word it. No, there are times where I literally know I need to do something or I really want to do something. I really want to start this new skill. I really want to start this game so I can review because I got a review code and my brain goes, yeah, hey, what about that other thing we could be doing? Even with this channel, I get it all the time where I have notebooks and notebooks just filled with ideas. It's one of the ways I cope of other channels I create, such as language learning, uh, travel as I like to travel, which will be a segue into another reason why content was light when it came to unboxings next year, this year, sorry, last year. Often as what just happened two seconds ago, uh, that you obviously you don't, guys don't see off camera. I literally forgot what I was talking about as I was talking about it. That's always fun. You can imagine that makes recording super, super fun to do sometimes. Well, that has to be the biggest obstacle for me. And 
it's almost like a self-sabotage. Your brain will literally invent scenarios or reasons why or make you start up other activities such as cleaning my entire house, doing the dishes, uh, going for a walk, um, starting a new project just to prevent me from doing the thing that it knows it won't get dopamine from because that again is one of our main symptoms is a lack of dopamine. When you accomplish something, when you do something, you get that like sense of pride or sense of achievement. I don't get that because a chemical imbalance in my brain. So I could edit the best video I ever did in my life. And if it's not the one particular thing that my brain wants to do, it doesn't matter. I don't feel any pleasure from that. I just know I needed to get it done, which again, I am very fortunate that I have learned coping mechanisms so I can force or trick myself into doing things that I need to do over things that I want to do. But even then still, even if I do it, I, I get no joy from it. And it's really sad because it could be things that you would think I would like maybe building something or painting a room in my house. What does this have to do with content creation? If you couldn't already guess, that also means when it comes to sometimes editing, uh, very much starting games, even if I was looking forward to them, I'm not in the right frame of mind, so, or I'm hyper-focusing on a completely different game, and I don't want to start that game I need to review, even though I beg the developer for a review code. <laughs> Hey guys, Editing Nando here. I just wanted to add on to this point that this is a big reason why reviews tend to be so late. One thing that I need in order to cope with my ADHD is a deadline. And if I receive a review code after the game launches, it becomes very difficult to motivate my brain to let me edit and review the game. Even if I'm really enjoying it and taking loads of notes and footage, the fact that I no longer have a deadline, as it were, makes it incredibly difficult to produce the video. So I apologize for this. This is why reviews are often late and to the developers as well. Why my reviews are sometimes two, three weeks after a game launches. It is also because I like to be very thorough, but also it is just very hard for me to edit without a deadline. Now, I appreciate as a smaller channel that I always won't get codes in advance, but this is just something else I have to deal with, with being a creator with ADHD. Did I mention that rambling is also a symptom of ADHD? Like just information vomit? Because if not, I just gave you a prime example for the last, what, three, four, five, six minutes. I don't want this video just being me complaining about my ADHD or explaining my ADHD. I do want to go through some other positive things we had on the channel and what I'm going to try to do going forward. So as I mentioned before, we have been receiving codes now when i first started doing reviews we just got indie codes nothing wrong with indies guys before anyone comment love our indies here on the channel my point trying to be before i go on another ramble is we have been receiving loads of triple a codes just so cool it was one of my biggest goals for the channel and for myself on top of getting things like press kits so what does this mean for you guys what does this mean for the channel what am i trying to get at well because of you guys using things like my CD keys links. When you watch my what's in the boxes or my reviews uh, and you take my opinion on board, which again, thanks for watching always and not just saying I'm an idiot in the comments and subscribing and furthermore helping out the channel. Uh, I've been able to get even more upgrades. So we're gonna do, we're gonna have better lighting finally on the unboxings. I mean, we did have some better lighting, but now we're gonna have much more better lighting. I always wanted one of these, picked it up on sale. This was a cool thing that I picked up at Ikea. I just spotted it randomly and thought it would be good for shorts. God, I love a good segue. If you haven't noticed, I've been trying to do more shorts and I've even done a retroactive unboxing by doing it as a short. Now, this is something you guys have suggested in the past. Well, both things really. You've both suggested that I maybe unbox some collector's editions even past the release date, just in case something you guys want to see uh, or some of my older ones that I never got to do a video about so I did Midnight Suns check that out and um, if you can't tell by the size of this some some things don't warrant a 10 minute unboxing so yeah this the shorts have been doing well especially funnily of all places Instagram I will be doing those more often going forward um, because you guys have been receptive to it and it's actually quite fun to do a cheeky little you know phone unboxing and, and it means that things that I buy or things that I find that I don't think, oh, I can't make a video on that. It's too small. Solution. 
And they also helped me work around the other problem that I've been having last year. Now, not only did I briefly mention in the ADHD round that I have many other interests that pop up in my life and my brain screams at me to make content on those, even though I wouldn't start this channel, which means I'd have like four or five channels and I can barely keep this one going. So why would I do four or five? Anyways, I have been devoting a lot of my time to learning Portuguese and French because when I was a child in Canada, I spoke, surprise, surprise, Portuguese and French. Nando's not just a random name I pulled out of a hat. It is my name. And secondly, if you do follow me on Instagram, which again, you guys can check out the link in the description and check out what I do outside of this. I also like to travel. Um, I like to travel a lot. I went to Portugal twice last year just because I love the, obviously the connection to the culture, but I love the food, I love the people. It's a beautiful, beautiful country that's severely underrated and quite cheap to go to. And unfortunately, those activities, especially travel, pull funding away from unboxing. Which meant I have to be a bit more strict on the ones I did get and a bit more selective about the ones I wanted. Trust me, I like loads. I, I, I would get almost every game that I, I play, I'd get a collector's edition for. Honestly, I would. Which also kind of circles back to the ADHD thing because one of the things we lack is object permanence, which means I, like a baby, I literally forget something exists unless I can see it, which would explain a lot, right? There may be times where I take a big break, but I will always come back to the channel. I'm not giving up or anything like that, especially around Christmas, right? Like Christmas, New Year's, I took a big break. Also, for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, my cat had to go for surgery. So that was fun and also took up my time. Just the unfortunate fact of being a smaller creator, uh, it means I can't devote as much time as I always want to. Trust me, I have ideas in my head related to this channel. I I've had like opinion pieces or I guess mini documentaries where I go into certain topics about collector's editions or the change in them. And just like, I'd love to, to, to interview somebody who manufactures them, like get in touch with a developer or a manufacturer and talk with them about like the process of how collector's editions are made and all sorts of crazy things like that. Maybe one day, but this channel has always been like a slow, slow burn. Like it, we're getting there, you know what I mean? Like we're definitely getting there, but like I never have my snowball moment that other creators sometimes have where one video just takes off and then bam, they get like 10,000 subs. I, I actually know quite a few mid to big creators that that has genuinely happened to. They, they were at like 1,500 subscribers. The next thing they know, they're at 40,000 and they're either part-time or full-time creators. Maybe one day, fingers crossed guys. But at the minute, it just seems like I'm destined to, for that slow climb, which is fine. I don't mind that. Content is resuming. Uh, I'm coming back with a bang. We're gonna do much more this year. Hopefully much more crazy collabs and skits and, and unboxings, of course, and, and what's in the box. And I wanna bring back my top five videos. Uh, who knows what the future holds, but I'm hopeful. Thank you so much for watching me, guys. Ramble on and on and on at you, as usual. Thank you so much for watching throughout all these years. If you've been subscribed for a long time and, and even to the new people, welcome. And please stick around. I'll see you guys in the next video. I promise it won't be a month from now. Promise. Maybe a week.